Welcome to Lesson 7 of Kids Bible Study Jesus Edition. My name is Ms. Regine and I am your Bible study teacher. Can you believe it? This is our last lesson of the Jesus Edition workbook. I hope you had a fantastic day and ready to jump into our teaching for today. Well, over the past six lessons, we've learned a lot about Jesus's identity and how that shapes who we are. And as you saw in our launching activity, there's still so much more to learn about Jesus. So for our final lesson, let's talk about how do we continue to grow our friendship with Jesus forever? We continue to grow our friendship with Jesus by loving God. That's why our focus scripture today from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17 says, I love those who love me, those who look for me, find me. When we take the time, to love God because God loved us first. That helps us to continue growing our forever friendship with Jesus. And throughout this study, we've already discussed ways to love God. Throughout the Jesus Edition workbook lessons, we've already talked about some ways that we can love God. We said that we can love God by praying. That's when we P-R-A-Y, when we talk and we listen to God. We can also love God by obeying. When we follow God's wise thoughts and answers, we'll always be winners. We've also said that we can love God by sharing. When we love the gift of friendship with God, we can share, we can tell others about our friend Jesus Christ. And we can even love God by celebrating. We can sing, dance, or even host a party to celebrate what God has done for us and what God wants to do in the life of others through Jesus Christ. So why do we want to be friends with Jesus forever? We want to grow our friendship with Jesus forever because it helps us to learn more about ourselves. We've seen this fact throughout our whole study in the Jesus Edition workbook. We learned that just like Jesus is a friend that we too should have and be a good friend to others. We also learned that just like Jesus is a miracle worker, that we can ask God to see miracles in our lives and in the lives of others. We learned that just like Jesus knows the answers to everything, that we can know the wise thoughts of God for ourselves and the wise solutions that God has for the world's problems. And that whenever we talk to God and listen to God, we'll always have solutions. And then we also learned that just like Jesus is a storyteller and a teacher, that we can teach others about ourselves and about Jesus by sharing our stories. And in our last lesson, we learned that Jesus is an overcomer and that every friend of Jesus is a winner too. You see that every time we learn something new about Jesus, we get to learn more about ourselves too. And as you can see from the launching activity, there's a lot more characteristics to learn about Jesus's identity and about ourselves. So remaining friends with Jesus is such a gift that helps us to love God and to love ourselves even more. So to continue a forever friendship with Jesus, here's a few tips that we should remember. I want you to always remember that Jesus is with us, Jesus loves us, and Jesus wants to speak with us about everything. <laughs> That's right, but if you don't believe me, let's look at the facts written right there in the Bible. In Psalm chapter 33, verse 13 through 15, it says, the Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne, he observes all who lives on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. That's a reminder for us right there that Jesus is always present with us. You are never alone. God wants you to know that he is always right there, present with us. The next thing to remember comes from John chapter 3, verse 16, that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. It's important for us to remember that Jesus always loves us. God is never mad at us. God is not mad at you. God is not mad at me. God is not mad at others. Jesus always loves us. God loved the world so much that he sent Jesus for us so that we can know and that we can believe and live with God forever. And it's also important for us to remember that Jesus is always available to help us with kind words and smart advice. That comes from Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 that says, this is God's message. The God who made earth, made it livable and lasting, known everywhere as God. Call to me and I will answer you. I'll tell you marvelous and wondrous things that you could never figure out on your own. God has all the answers and is always ready to help. When we stop, pause, rejoice, ask, and yield, when we pray, when we talk and listen to God, no matter the question, Jesus is always available to help us with kind words and God's smart advice. Well, now it's time to celebrate Jesus in our final activity. I want you to think about one thing that you learned about Jesus that you want to celebrate. Before you complete the activity, don't forget today's takeaway. Jesus is always with me, loves me, and will speak to me forever. And for our closing homework assignment, I want you to host an in-person or a virtual forever celebration. Invite some friends, invite your family, and let's celebrate our forever friendship with Jesus Christ. Since God's friendship and love to us is a gift, I want you to make a gift 
to share with your guest that shares a little bit about Jesus's story. Well, let me pray for you. Everlasting God, we thank you that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. God, we ask that you would help us to remain connected as friends with Jesus throughout our life here on earth and forever to come. And in the meantime, help us to celebrate, to sing, to dance, and to share with others your love. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. I love you. And most importantly, God loves you. I hope to see you on another edition of Kids Bible Study. Bye.